glad that I was working from home on the day that the Oh Yeah One package arrived um, for my review. But I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts now. eight one bar the second it arrived so that's where the Instagram review came from but this will be kind of like a second go at it I'm not gonna eat a full second bar but let's see what I think the second time around wait just hold on one one second yeah there we go uh, oh yeah one sent me this sweet swag package along with the box um, it's a nice little thank you but I don't wear wife beaters but let's do the review in one so if you don't know this is my favorite protein bar brand by far um, I've got them ranked at like an 8.510 overall on the blog Last bar they released was cinnamon roll or cinnamon bun, whatever they called it, and it was like the first time a protein bar actually tasted like a cinnamon bun instead of just cinnamon flavor. I heard they were doing pumpkin pie, um, I almost shit a pumpkin pie because I figured they were actually going to be able to nail it. So here's what the bar looks like, um, I'm not sure where they went white on white, like the cinnamon roll already had the brown color that was way, way nicer looking. 230 calories, 21 grams of protein. Carbs are at 24, uh, 1 gram of sugar, but 11 grams of sugar, alcohol, and 8 grams of fat. You could probably already guess from the enthusiasm in my voice that I was a little bit disappointed with this bar. I did Fit Joy last week, Fit Joy Pumpkin Pie, and this is night and day better because this is a lot sweeter. I, I took a bite of Fit Joy after this one this morning. This is way better. But this bar, this can't touch their cinnamon roll bar. That, that one had so much more cinnamon and it had a butteriness to it but this one doesn't I'm trying to address this awful lighting situation it's an awkward time of day in my house for lighting but um this bar is solid but it's not great everyone hated quest's pumpkin pie this is better it edges it a little bit on sweetness and on the spice but i just i don't know why these protein bar companies are struggling to take cinnamon nutmeg allspice cloves and ginger and sprinkle them into the recipe off the top of my head, um, I would have both birthday cakes, almond bliss, cinnamon bun, um, lemon cake, peanut butter pie, lemon chocolate chip, all higher than this one. So that's not that's not good considering it's my my favorite flavor. But um... anyway, I would recommend um, getting one and not a box of twelve, and then going from there. That's how I would approach this one. You guys know my favorite thing to do is um, piss off big companies by leaking all their plans. Well, I got a new one. Pillowtop is going to announce 10 new flavors tomorrow, and I've only had a picture of one of them until now. Um, but I now know all 10. I identify them real quick. I'll do a, a text uh, thing that you guys can screenshot. If you care to know all 10 flavors, I'll write them out. Oh, new flavor number one, cookies and cream, 320 calories. Flavor number two, oatmeal cookie. It's hard to see, but I've seen it. Flavor number three I've already revealed is chocolate chip cookie dough. Flavor number four is chocolate almond something. I'm going to say crunch or coconut. Flavor number five is peanut butter cup. Flavor number six is s'mores. Flavor number seven is pistachio. It's not focusing, but you get it. Flavor number eight is black cherry. Flavor number nine is red velvet, and flavor number 10 is sea salt caramel. Here we go. I'm gonna post that picture to Instagram and uh, then get yelled at by people that can sue me for everything I'm worth.